Welcome to London. How does it feel to be here? Feel very good to be in London. I like very much. How about you? Oh, I really love it here. It's all right, isn't it? Bit cold, you know? Yes, it's a bit, it's a bit nippy, isn't it? Well, I saw the film. Um, I have to say it was interesting. I, I think you're, you're, you're actually not a great actor. Your acting was rubbish. Thank you. Not. <laughs> you're funny. Oh, no. I, I had to get that in. Um, but on to a serious note, this time last year, if, if, if anyone asked me now who you are, I probably wouldn't have known anything about you. So me, and along with a lot of other people, probably now know a little bit too much about you, know you very well. So how does it feel sort of um, shooting to fame so quickly? And I met you? <laughs> that, that's cool. It's been great. It's absolutely been wonderful. I, I, you can't describe it because you've worked so long and so hard to get to a place where you want to get and Mr. Sasha Baron Cohen helped me get there. You've been acting for a while though, haven't oh, yeah, you? Oh yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how does it feel now to be at the peak at, you know, of, your, uh, of your career, so it's been, you know, possibly set to get bigger? Yes, it is getting bigger. I'm doing a, a Get Smart next month, which is an a, a adaptation of a television mm. show in America. We're making a movie, uh, Steve Carell, Anne Hathaway, a uh, lot of big people. The Rock is in it, and I'm in it. Well, that's, well, that's the so magic So that's ingredient. what's happening. It's, it's, it, this film has opened doors for me, and it's been absolutely great. So you've been acting for a while, haven't you? I mean, I take it there's quite a lot of perseverance involved. That's exactly the most important. You need to know your craft. You need a little bit of luck. But if you're not there, when the door cracks open this much, you don't have the perseverance, you have, you're not there, you're not, it's not going to happen. So I was a theater arts major in college. I've been doing this off and on all my life. I've done a lot of day jobs, bit jobs, week jobs. None of the jobs have been this rewarding. Uh, it takes a lot of guts to appear nude on camera, I imagine. I mean, what did you think when you heard that you were going to do that with Borat? I worked in the gym for weeks. I went prepare. I took my clothes off and I ran because this little skinny guy was chasing me. That, that's all it was. It was, it was a commitment to a bit and, and trusting the people that I was working with because, boy, I tried to talk them out of it. I said, this is a scary movie. You don't want to do this. People are going to close their eyes. It's a Wes Craven moment. I said, let me run in boxers. And Sasha said no. And he was right. I trusted him. He was right. So the moment he told you, right, Ken, we're going to do this in a buff, you and me both on top of each other, rolling about, what was your reaction to that? Excuse me, what did he say? That was my reaction. And there's tape on that somewhere. I, he actually was pacing in a room like this, describing what he was envisioning, because there was no script. So it was all in his mind. And... The last thing I remember him saying was, and your balls will be on my chin. And it was like, and your balls will be on my chin. Yeah. And I turned to someone and said, did he say balls? And they went, mm-hmm. And that's what happened. Well, I have to say you've got bigger balls than what I have because I don't think I would be able to do that. I figured, who cares? Who wants to see an old fat man naked? I didn't, I, I, it was nothing. So you were wrong, everyone wants to see you naked now. Have you yes. had any other uh, offers for the nude? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I've said, uh, give me your number, sweetheart, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think I want to get, I don't think anybody wants me to get nude again, so I'm okay with it. This is it. It's your best, man. How's it about? 
אתה מכיר את זה. שיהיה לבשמי, אמרתי לך לא להביא את זה. Were you taken aback by the, uh, the success that it had everywhere? No. Uh, maybe some people were, and I don't want to pat myself on the back, but the second week of shooting, we walked into a room, and I said in Armenian, and he doesn't understand a word in Armenian, I said, this is the palace of a king, and that chair is the throne of a king. And he turned around and he said the same thing to me in English. And I thought, wow, they're right. There is a chemistry. These people are smarter than me. They know what they're doing. And this is going to be awesome. Because I knew that I had never seen anything like this. I mean, the only clips of anything like this was the Ali G show itself. So I thought this is going to be amazing. Did Pamela Anderson know anything of the kidnap plot? I... don't know because I never met her. Now I make the assumption that she had to know something and I heard that she was told, go about your day, we'll find you. But not, not into it. But then I wasn't, I didn't know what was going on from hour to hour because it was in his head and it would come out with, okay, we're gonna walk into this situation and Borat's not happy. And so I knew Borat, Borat's not happy. But a lot of my cues came from just watching his eyes and his eyebrow. Because his eyebrows tell you what's going on, when it's going on. So what's your message to all the viewers of Real.com? Don't let nobody under three years old watching this movie. And they sing my, you know, no good. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.